I've always been interested in history, and that's, I just was always, history always interested me because I grew up around all these immigrants and all these coal miners. My dad was a coal miner at 11 years of age, and going anywhere, I was just a dumb girl who was supposed to get married. <laughs> That's the way my father thought. I, in in Winter, in my 40, that's what growing up was the way it was. So you had we had this big this big shelling of all the deposit from the coal. They used to call it the biggest coal mine state, and it was pretty big. And we kids used to play in the grubby little pictures of water first that it had all this poison in it. And I was most interested in places like Winburg with the immigrants and all of that. Years, I did it as a dissertation, first of all, in two volumes, it was so big. Because half of it was devoted to studying what the community was like. So the second was what the miners did to get a union. Miners of Winber, I think most people here know of it, a very important book. We, we, and we really want to honor Millie uh, very much for what she did. And she's, her health is very poor. She's really struggling, but she is here in spirit. And we're so happy that we have it being filmed so that she can see it. And I know she loved this town. Mine 40 was where her heart has always been. And she came back to this town from the south uh, and she wrote this book. It's an act of love. It's the story of the miners of Winber. It can be got through Penn State Press. On a long and winding road from Hofstadt, PA to France, Millie and the working class were his romance. the best friend of mine, and he was a best friend of mine. Good food and one were essential, though his body was in pain. Their house was party central for their friends in the pump house gang. I love to make him laugh, pull his choke and make him smile.
want above all else to abolish poverty in their lives and in the lives of the white poor. That is the heart of the program. This great leader of the civil rights movement was killed there in Memphis in pursuit, remember, of the strikers' cause and social justice on April 4, 1968. Thank you. Yeah. So now I want, I want to introduce uh, Millie Bike. I formed the committee for the two events that we're having this week, looking at uh, the separation of children at the borders and U.S. policy for immigration. And uh, we've been so pleased to have uh, Millie with us for the last uh, seven, eight years now here in, in Pittsburgh, working with us in the Battle of Homestead. So uh, this is Millie Bike, and she's going to tell us about our guests and our program. Thank you. Thank you. The broad theme of the program for this year for the Battle of Homestead is building bridges. Bridges from the past from a hundred years ago, 1919. And those of you who came to the program that we had on that are very well aware that immigrants were one of the targets of that time. Fear abounded in 1919 in the U.S. and hope abounded for others in the United States. What we hope to do today in this program is to build a bridge to the Latino community. And we want to welcome all those who are interested in immigration and in the subject of what's happening to not only the children, but the parents and other family members of the immigrants, of all those people who are seeking asylum in the United States. We want to welcome you to our group and hope you will join us and think about it and see what we can do. And we hope today that our speakers will tell us how we can help them. He's a native of uh, um, Wendra, right outside. My Justin. <laughs> My party. And her father was a coal miner and uh, Billy uh, somehow fought her way to go to the university and eventually became a, a doctor in history. And in, in the process, she wrote a book about the miners of, of Winber. Uh, and she was, uh, for a time, a, a teacher of history at Northern Illinois uh, University, also Emory for a while, right? And uh, we've been so pleased to have uh, Millie with us for the last uh, seven, eight years now here in, in Pittsburgh working with us in the Battle of Homestead. 